NetDocuments is proud to introduce an updated advanced search page. As before, searching can be done from the simple search box here at the top, or from the advanced search page accessed here. This page has been redesigned to be more simple, intuitive, and even customizable. The short tutorial will demonstrate these changes. The advanced search page allows you to search a variety of fields as you can see here. First, I'll show you how to navigate and customize the advanced search page to streamline your searching. First, the back button here at the top right will take you back to the previous page you were on. The criteria from your most recent search will already be displayed. You can clear this criteria by clicking Begin New Search down here below. The Page Layout section here at the top determines the defined display format that will be used when the results are displayed. The available fields on the advanced search page also change depending on which layout you have selected. Additionally, down below, I can choose to display more search options. I can also change the order of these fields by going up here to the top right to this gear icon. Here I can change the order of these search fields by dragging and dropping the sections in whichever order I choose. Additionally, I can change the layout for each of these three layout options. Another useful tip, I can click and drag the More Options menu to wherever I want. And that will allow me to hide all the options that are below that. I can also set these fields back to their default settings. Also in the Cabinet field here at the top, we've made a few changes. I can select an individual cabinet to search in, or I can select the repository to choose all of the cabinets within that repository. I can remove a cabinet simply by clicking the X. Additionally, I can select specific cabinets with a control and a click. Next, we will discuss some of the available search fields. The first customized field that you choose to put at the top will have the cursor in it by default, as you can see here. The ID field here allows you to search for a specific document ID, one or more documents. You'll notice also as I start typing an ID, the other fields are grayed out. Other fields are ignored when you search by a document ID. I can clear this field also by clicking this clear this field link here on the right. And that will allow me to search for these other fields again. The everything field searches all attributes and fields, similar to the simple search box here across the top. Here are just a few things you can do in this field. You can enter in one or more keywords, and that will search for documents that have the word health or assessment or both. Additionally, I can do what is called a phrase search using quotes, and that will find documents that only have that phrase, health assessment. Additionally, I can use a wildcard, which is an asterisk, and that will allow me to search for other words like assessment, assessing, assessor, anything that has that root word. Additionally, I can use Boolean searching, and that is and, or, or not. So for example, I could do health not assessment. That will search for documents that have the word health, but not the word assessment. Next, the name or the subject field has a similar functionality to the everything field, but is restricted only to the name or subject. Notice, again, if I choose documents, it's the name field. Under email, it's searching the subject of the email. And under all, it's searching either one. Next, you will see your custom attributes. Your firm will have set up custom fields such as client, matter, document type, or date. And these will work as before. You can select a client or a document type to search by. Next, you can search for documents based on who created them or when they were created. So you can enter in a date range using our calendar. Additionally, you can enter in what's called the relative date. So for example, I can do negative 14 and 0. And that will allow me to search anything in the past two weeks. The modified by and the modified date fields also work in a similar fashion. Next, the file extension allows me to select specific file types. For example, I can select documents only, emails only, or folders only. I can also select specific file types such as Word documents, Excel documents, or PDF documents. These next fields allow me to search for emails based on who they were sent from or to or who was cc'd on that email. Additionally, I can search for only those emails with attachments. 
In this next section, I can search for a share space using this field. Entering the share space name will return the documents in the share space, but not the share space itself. I can also change the sort order of my search results. Relevance will sort items with the most relevant item at the top. Selecting modify date will sort the items in descending order based on the modified date. Selecting name will sort the items alphabetically. I can also choose to make that option my default sort. I can also search for alternate word forms. This means that if I search mice, it will return documents with the word mouse. Additionally, I can filter my search results to display deleted items only. This will return documents that have been marked as deleted. I can also search again here for documents with an incomplete profile. This includes items that are missing one or more profile fields. Additionally, you can now set the default number of items that are returned in your search result. To do this, you go to your settings menu at the top right, and under application settings, down below you will see a section here to change the number of items that display in your search result. You can choose from 10, 20, or 50. We hope you find the new advanced search page easier to use and that you can customize it to improve your user experience.